Hi, I'm Leslie Langnam, Make Parts Fast, and I'm here at the Rapid Plus TCT show in Fort Worth, Texas. This is one of the premier additive manufacturing shows, and I'm here with Simon Free of Nano Dimensions. Now, Nano Dimensions is one of the few companies that actually is able to print in electronics onto a substrate for printed circuit boards, correct? Yep. Absolutely. So it's a question of really printing. It's multi-material printing. So on the one hand, it's printing metals uh, for the conductivity. And on the other hand, it's printing special polymers, which are dialed in for specific dielectric or insulating properties to give you the, the features that you need, the specifications you need to protect your conductive signal to make sure that message is making its way through okay. the polymer. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about the conductive inks? How exactly does that work? Sure. So the goal is to have them be as conductive as possible. And that means that it's, it's quite similar in, in, in many ways to the, to, to, the, to the printing of metal, additive printing of metal. Right. And what you're looking for is very high density, minimal porosity, so it allows that current to travel undisturbed through the printed trace. And we're doing that with nanoparticles. One of the challenges when you're printing metal is heat. You need yeah. very high temperatures. But when you move in the direction of nanomaterials, something magical happens. So in order to get <laughs> regular silver to melt, you need to get pretty close to 1,000 degrees C. Now, if you want to get nanoparticles of this exactly the same material, it's still silver, it's pure silver, you can get them to start melting as, as low as 80, 90, 100 degrees C. And that's because they're so small, you have such a large surface area that you can get metal to melt in a different kind of context. But it has to be nano for that to happen. Now, one of the benefits of additive manufacturing is it eliminates a lot of steps right. in the production of a part. So with this kind of a process, or with these inks even, mm -hmm. what kind of steps are eliminated? Well, it, it depends what kind of a part you're yeah. making. Yeah. So if you're talking about a, a PCB, which is one of the things the system can print, if you're looking at 8 or 10 or 12 layer PCBs, you could be confronted with as many as 40, 50 different process ah. steps of etching and stripping away and pressing and drilling and then covering. So there are numerous steps in making a, in a, in making a PCB, which is why in the last 20 years or so, companies have ceased to be able to make them themselves in-house. There are too many steps, too much equipment, <laughs> and this allows folks to get back to doing that in-house. Mm -hmm. So now this can fit into an office yes, pretty exactly. well. And so if you were to sneak around the side, you'd see it's been carefully put together to go through a standard door. You'll see there's a full filtration, and it's okay. perfectly office friendly. Okay, excellent. All right. So for our audience, where right. can they get more information about the system? Well, so I, I certainly encourage folks to go and check out our website, which is nano, N-A-N-O, hyphen or dash, uh, D-I, dot com. All righty. And that's where we are at Rapid TCT here in Fort Worth, Texas.